Welcome back, boys and girls. Guess why I'm standing? It's time for the silly song. Ready? What do we do first? Thumbs up. What do we do second? Elbows back. Here we go. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Feet apart. Feet apart. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Knees together. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows back. Elbows back. Feet apart. Feet apart. Knees together. Knees together. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Thumbs up. Feet apart, knees together, knees together. Bottoms, up. bottoms up, tongue out. Tongue out. Thumbs up, up. elbows back, elbows back. Feet, apart. feet apart, knees together, knees together. bottoms up, bottoms up. Tongue, out. tongue out. Thumbs up, elbows back, feet apart, knees together, bottoms up, tongue out, turn around. We did it. Did you make it to the end? done it with your family? You need to teach your family the silly song. It's the last week of school, of course. Gotta get silly. Boys and girls, shaving cream today, tray today, washcloth today, and your All About Z book. Before we do that, let's see if we can sing our sign language alphabet from beginning to end. First of all, I'm going to give you a sign language letter. You tell me which letter it is. Ready? W, right. How about this one? Z, yes. How about this one? I, good. How about this one? L, yes. How about this one? S. Very good. How about this one? When the mouse is peeking out right here, M. N. T. Yeah, very good. How about this one? J. Very good. Let's give it a try from the beginning. Sing and sign. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 
Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? And boys and girls, we have the letter Z. And what does Z say? Buzzing bee, buzzing bee. Z -z -z -z. Well, I think today is a good day to practice our Z's on our shaving cream board. Push up those sleeves if you have on long sleeves and shake up your shaving cream, okay? And have that washcloth close by. And boys and girls, I always try to just use my writing hand. So if you're right-handed, you'll be using your right hand. Or if you're left-handed, like Thomas or Wyatt, just use your left hand in your shaving cream. Then your other hand is free to scratch an itch or cover a sneeze without getting shaving cream everywhere. Okay, I'm ready to add some to the middle. You too. There we go. Spread it out. Oh, it feels so soft. There we go. Boys and girls, show me three capital Z's. I did it. Did you? Very good. Z for Zara. Now erase your board. Now show me three lowercase z's. C, z for zipper. Very good, boys and girls. Now, can you tell me what I just wrote. Boys and girls, what Z word did I just write? Zara, can you write Zara? She's been waiting all year for us to practice Z words. Z, A, R, a. She has two A's in her name. Good. And now erase your board. Well, boys and girls, it's time to practice our numbers today. Okay, yesterday we practiced um, not our alphabet sounds. Do we practice our shapes? I can't think what we did. What did we do yesterday, Mr. Boobin, with our, sh with our shaving cream? We did alphabet letters on the first day. We're doing numbers today. I have to think about that. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, I know I had fun though. Okay, friends, let's practice our colors. Words. We did our color words. Thank you. We practiced our color words like green, red, orange. You wrote them all. So did I. Okay, let's practice our numbers. You write three of the number that I sing about. Slide to the right and slant it down. Slide to the right and slant it down. Slide to the right and slant it down. That's how we write the number seven. Did you write the number seven? Hopefully you slid to the right and slanted it down. Very good. Erase your board. How about this one? Down and around and give it a hat. Down and around and give it a hat. Down and around and give it a hat. That's how we write the number five. That's a fun one to write. Did you add a hat? Are your fives going in the same direction as me? Good. Erase your board. 
about this one? This one has been a tricky one. Make a circle, then a line. Make a circle, then a line. Make a circle, then a line. That's how we write the number nine. Sometimes I think our friends think you make a circle and then a line, kind of like a backwards 10, but that's not a number. You make a circle, you could make a line or come straight down, we could say, right? That's how you write the number nine. Good, erase your board. How about this one? Down, slide, right, and cut it in two. Down, slide, right, and cut it in two. Down, slide, right, and cut it in two. That's how you write the number four. Very good. How about this one? Come straight down and make an oval. Come straight down and make an oval. Come straight down and make an oval. That's how you write the number 10. Come straight down and make an oval. Two numbers, 10. Erase your board. How about this one? Halfway around and around again. Halfway around and around again. Halfway around and around again. That's how you write the number three. Good thing I have a clean hand. I have an itch. Phew. Do you have one clean hand too? I hope so. Erase your board. How about this one? Slant on down and give it a curl. Slant on down and give it a curl. Slant on down and give it a curl. That's how you write the number six. Very good, boys and girls. How about this one? Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. That's how you write the number eight. You know how to make an S. You can easily make a number eight too. I think it's easier to make it with shaving cream because it's so slippery. It's like making a, a track. Erase your board. How about this one? Curl around and slide to the right. Curl around and slide to the right. Curl around and slide to the right. That's how you write the number. Two, curl around, and then slide to the right. Make sure your two doesn't look like this. Sometimes we don't curl around enough and go straight down. That's a problem. Curl around, slide to the right. Good. Now, boys and girls, I'm gonna give you a big number to write, okay? And I wanna see if you can write a big number. How about this one? Let's do our temperature today. 58. Can you write the number 50? 8. That's what it should look like. 5, 8. Now let's try this one. 22. Twenty-two. That's a doubles number, isn't it? Good. Now let's try this one. Seventy-one. Well, it starts off with a seven. Ends with a one. Seventy-one. Let's try this one. One hundred. Yes, one zero zero. What if we added another zero? One hundred would turn into 
1,000. Very good, boys and girls. Okay, you can just play for a little bit. Sometimes you need to take the extra stuff on your fingers and get it on that board so that you have more to play in. Can you give your board a massage with your fingers? Looky there, that's a mess. Well, you could save your board to play with later, boys and girls. Right now though, clean up those hands. And I want you to work on your very last alphabet book. Okay, get out those crayons, get out that preschool pencil, and show me your best when you make your all about the letter Z book. Stay in the lines when you color and write your best, boys and girls. And at the last page, as always, draw a picture of something that begins with the letter Z. I'm gonna try to figure it out. See you back soon. Bye-bye.